We do not believe there is a feasible way or a fair way to restore fiscal sustainability without asking a very small fraction of the most fortunate Americans to bear a modestly higher burden for the privilege of being Americans. Here's a man, Timothy Geithner, who's a laughing stock. He's fundamentally a messenger boy for the corrupt administration who is uh, bankrupting the, uh, the Treasury as fast as they can by printing money without an evaluation whatsoever, saying that we should pay more money for the privilege of being Americans. Here's a man who did nothing to build America, but he's acting as though he inherited America. He owns America with Obama and the cronies, and they're telling the rest of us who work for a living that we owe it to the bums and the illegal aliens uh, to pay more money for the privilege of being American. I have no words for this other than to, to have you just listen to this on your own. It's incomprehensible to believe that when you see Greece melting down and having to bite the bullet and tighten their belt, their belts because they've been told by Germany and others who have been paying their way that if you want to receive another bailout, you've got to cut back on welfare, you've got to cut back on the pensions, you've got to work longer, you've got to work longer in life, and you've got to like work longer, you've got to cut down on your vacations, you've got to cut back on the medicine the, the government's giving you. The Greeks don't like it, but the government of Greece is run by a man who's less socialistic than Obama. He said to the people, you've got to do it or we're not going to be bailed out. Here we have a, an administration that says keep print, we'll keep printing money and we will raise taxes on those who actually make things, except those who support us. They'll get an exemption as we've given thousands of exemptions for Obamacare to our cronies. We will exempt Warren Buffett from real taxation. We will exempt General Electric from real taxation. We will exempt Microsoft from real taxation. We will exempt anybody who puts money into the kitty of our administration. We'll let them continue with their loopholes, and we'll tell everybody else to pay more money except the 47% who pay no federal taxes.